How's it going, Marty's? It's your main Marty E-Man here, and today we have top 10 surprising original actor appearances in remakes. Because who doesn't love to see a little nod to the originals? I mean, there's Baywatch, there's, what was it, 22 Jump Street, originally 21 Jump Street, obviously. Um, what was it, A-Team. It's also the A-Team. Why can I not think of it right now? There's something else, but I cannot think of it right now. What was it? I'll probably see it here. But anyways, let's go. Watch Mojo. Subscribe to Miss Mojo. When there is no more room in hell, the dead will walk for you. Look closely, and you might catch hey. a couple of familiar faces. And uh, this thing with Richie, I mean, Christ, that was bloody awful. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks hey. for the top 10 original What's up, Johnny? in remakes. You take care of yourself. For this list, we're taking a look at remakes or reboots of movies wherein an actor that had previously starred in the original... Play the apes. Against this... Our strength means nothing. They don't necessarily have to play the same character, as long as they make an appearance. I didn't betray you, kal -El. We're excluding Hugh Jackman from X-Men First Class, however, as it's not a full-on reboot. That's primarily no. considered a prequel that maintains some continuity within the rest of the X-Men series. Some. Also, this may be a bit spoilery depending on how surprised you like to be at cameos. So Was that Starsky and Hutch? Maybe in order. I was gonna say. Where did you Number 10. Wasn't... Michael Caine, get Carter. Small world, isn't it? Very. Fresh off appearances. Jesus Alfie, Christ, he looks so weird. Films, Michael Caine was the natural choice to play Jack Carter, oh God, a gangster who investigates his brother's death. That was left for you this evening. What is it? This was he in Jaws 3 or Jaws 4? The film, was there Jaws the actor 4? drew uh. on his own experiences to play the criminal with a hard edge, as he'd come from a blue collar background where many of his friends were involved in lawbreaking. Well, it's cut. That's my name, and her father was my brother, and he was murdered last Sunday. When the film was remade with Sylvester Stallone starring as Carter, Looking it seemed only natural to pay homage to the original, and so Michael Caine was brought back to play another important role this time around. Brumby, I'm not turning round. See yourself. Yeah, that's the homage. We just shoot him. Christopher Reeve, Smallville. I don't have all the answers. I'm still on the same journey as you are, kyle -El. After his career-defining run as Superman, Christopher Reeve suffered a horse-riding accident and tragically became a quadriplegic. Hi there. Nothing wrong with the elevator? Nah, I like that. That was nice. However, that was not the end of his association with the Superman franchise. I would go bananas in a week. Oh, uh, can I uh, take you to the airport? Not unless you can fly. <laughs> <laughs> Years later, he was asked to guest star on Smallville as Dr. Virgil Swan, who helped Clark Kent understand more about his heritage. Hello, Clark. I've been expecting you. Snippets of John Williams' score he Superman looks the same. some of these scenes, making for a fitting tribute to his work as the Man of Steel and helping him pass the cape to another generation. You must write your own destiny, kal -El. Number eight, Paul Michael Glazer, hey. Soul, Starsky and Hutch. And you two claim to be detectives. <sighs> Music and the freaking sound effects just as classic. Detective series stayed reasonably close to its that Lombardi Street, featuring familiar characters and the four Torino that wow. just screams seventies, with a lot more laughs thrown in. Get in. Stock just went up in my book, my friend. While Ben Stiller, I gotta watch this again. I don't know why, but I really need to. In Hutch themselves, the film would be incomplete without a shout out to the series that started it all. 
Again. With the original TV actors both dropping in. They look the same. This is Zebra 3, we're on it. Touch, let's roll. I think he means you. Good luck. He didn't always have that mustache. All right, thank you. You're welcome. The speaking parts for the two veteran Let's actors move. helped give the remake a seal of approval. Come on, give me keys. Ah, I love the Letterman. Number seven, Hugh Keys Burn, Mad Max Fury Road. The Night Rider. The Night Rider. Are we talking about Night Rider and Mad Max? That writer's the other show. With Tom Hardy taking on Mel Gibson's iconic role as the titular badass, it was up to Hugh Keyes Byrne to tie the fourth outing to the original. That there is Kundalini. And Kundalini wants his hand back. <laughs> In Fury Road, oh, exactly. Keyes Byrne plays the big baddie Immortan Joe. While previously, yeah, kind of hard to tell it's him. He played another Where villainous the character. The motorcycle Bay band mask. with the pleasant name Toe Cutter. Lose the face. Please don't hurt my baby. Got nothing. What do you want from me? Don't. Another eyebrow. The subject. Oh, that's I was... right there. <gasps> the intervening 36 minutes <gasps> helped to significantly improve Lady with the shotgun. acting skills, leading him to give a memorable performance and allowing George Miller to pay homage to the earlier movie without Gibson. That's my child! I want them back! They're my property! Number huh. six, Chris Sarandon. A man No, not. <laughs> you would not believe how long I've been rehearsing that. No annual fee on any card, only from Discover. A giant man calling women his property. Welcome Great. to Fright Night. In the first Fright Night film, Chris Sarandon gave a surprisingly layered, yet still bloodthirsty performance as vampiric villain Jerry Dandridge. You deserve to die, boy. <laughs> I've seen him in something else. What was it? I feel like I just saw him in something. Years later, he returned. But this time, the vampire... Oh, yeah. I remember this. Hey, no! Stay in the car! Well, stop in the middle of the road. You got a tail light out. I can't... Yeah. Playing the cameo role of JD in Fright Night 2.0, the character's initials are a nod to his original character's name, who in 2011 was played by Colin Farrell. Staying true to the spirit of the original with its signature humor and horror, the inclusion of Sarandon was one way filmmakers tried to appeal to existing fans of the series. And it worked. And rip out his throat. God, this was brutal. <laughs> Number five. Burt Reynolds, his uh, yard. Hello, Sonny. I'd like to play some football. Fans of the 1970 uh, film about a pro quarterback who winds up and ends up leading a team of convicts in a prison football game got a pleasant surprise when Burt Reynolds showed up. As Show me that mustache, you beautiful man. Remake. You look like you could use a little help. No offense, my man, but uh, you're a little seasoned. I'm watching Longest Yard before I go to work. You play, I'll coach. I'm Nate Scarborough. Unlike some of the other films on this list, where the actor shows up for a brief walk-on appearance, Reynolds' new role is a substantial one. He stars as the coach who... I miss him already. ...team together. And he gets a bit rough... I want to watch... The cast to boot. Now I want to watch, um... ...doing some of his own stunts. I heard you were dead. No, I ain't dead. I've been right here, rotting. Waiting for a chance to get back at those sadistic guards. Number four, Lou Ferrigno, Hulk. <gasps> yes, incredible. yes, I remember. Yeah, look at that Hulk. While a lot of younger the most tamed Hulk, by the way, original outing by comparison. 70s, many might recognize Lou Ferrigno nonetheless, thanks to his Hulk-related cameos. In Ang Lee's 2003 take, Ferrigno appeared beside Stan Lee as a tight-shirted security guard. Jesus Christ, look at his arms. Security ought to be beefed up a lot more in a place like this. And in the two hey, hey, hey. starring Ed Norton, he turned up as a security guard once again. I don't think there's anybody up here. Oh, man. I'm going to catch hell if I don't collect. You got to let me try. Of course, you might also know Ferrigno's voice as one of many that makes up the Hulk's growl in the Avengers movies. Was it really? Oh, that's so cool. I never knew that. 
Oh, it's beautiful. Though it's a small part, he injects the role with Again, Fury, look at his freaking arms. To its roots. The Hulk's just not complete without him. You are the man. No blood, your brother. Number oh, he's beautiful. Three, Planet of the Apes. Yep. Finally, really did it. You maniac! Tim Burton's remake of That's the so nice. Gave him up may have left a oh, lot I never saw the Tim Burton one. But they were certainly satisfied with some of the notable shout outs to the 1968 original, particularly Charlton Heston's performance as Zaius. I have something to tell you. Since this was one of Heston's. Who is going to call that out? For his death, it's fitting that it referenced something from his career heyday. What you hold in your hand is the proof of their power. Their power of invention. However, we can't ignore the delicious irony that Heston himself is now portraying one of the damn dirty apes. Damn them. Damn them all to hell. Number two, Johnny Depp, this Jump Street. Metro Police Jump Street Division. Yeah. Come on, you guys are Jump Street? Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's funny because we were actually Jump Street. What? That's yeah. crazy. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Most of the cameos on this list were designed to pay tribute to the source material. And 21 Jump I remember Street seeing this in no theaters. Game. Well, for the most This in theaters. And, th and then that happened. And then I was just like, what the frick? The series on which Johnny Depp got his big break featured more drama than comedy. Depp decided that if he were to return to the franchise, he'd like to have some fun. It's not against the law to be afraid. So why don't you just leave me alone, all right? Okay. Not only Look how young he is. His former co-star Peter DeLuise come back with him. He also forced writers to kill them both off. Overkill, I would think. Filmmakers obliged, creating a memorable scene that proved the filmmakers did not need to be shackled to the past. The only approval that I ever needed was my best friend. Thanks, man. Ah, it hurts. Our number one pick. Here are some honorable mentions. Kelly Garrett. Hello, Dylan. Don't you have a case to solve? I tried to outrun my past, but it caught up with me yesterday. You shoot him in the head. They seem to go down permanently when you shoot him in the head. That you come to Fort Pastor, and if you can't make it here, we have multiple search and rescue teams out there, and they will find you. The dead will walk the earth. The earth. Look how pretty you have gotten. Uh, oh, those clothes. <laughs> oh, what tanks. And that smile. Oh, Marsha, you are such a beauty. Be impervious to it. It's impossible to develop a base reading. Or have you increased the voltage? Every single session, yes. Is that all you got? About 25 years ago, there was a man named Wilton Knight who on his deathbed told me one man can make a difference. I was that man. Number one, Leonard Nimoy. Uh, <laughs> uh, look, uh, I, I don't know you. I am Spock. Leonard Nimoy yes, had a you are. relationship with his most famous character earlier in his career, as evidenced by his autobiographies I Am Not Spock and I Am Spock. It is remarkably right. pleasure to see you again, old friend, especially after the events of today. But he softened his stance and reprised the role of the beloved Vulcan several times during his career. But his appearance in J.J. Abrams' Star Trek reboot went beyond a mere cameo. His involvement kickstarted the entire plot. Sir, I have. And then he went on to be Sentinel Prime and. You were Spock, you know. Dope ass names. At all. You hate me. You maroon me here for mutiny. He appeared briefly in the next installment into Darkness. Yeah. Mr. Spock. Mr. Spock. Mr. Spock. But sadly, his death in February 2015 means that those were some of his final roles. But what a legacy he left. That is where I'm from, Jim. Thanks for the reminder. The future. Do you agree with our list? You see this nose? That is a fake nose. You want to wear a fake nose in your head for like months on end? Blue and shit? Which original character reappearances surprised you the most?
For more kick -ass uh, oh, God. again, look at his arms! It's like concrete! Ooh, hey, bro. It's terrifying. Oh, Ash, you're terrifying. Rip these out of my head. Ha! Also, Star Trek. That's what I was trying to remember uh, from earlier in. It was uh, Leonard Nimoy being Star Trek. I'm not crying. Shut up. No. Thank you all for watching! Ooh, that hit hard. I'm just... What time is it? It's uh, motion time. Let's... Uh, just, uh, mm -hmm. Just gotta close this down on my emotion by.